Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have season four, Aaron Yeager. I was trying to wait until like the anime came out uh, to get a better image of him, but I guess this will have to do because it's been delayed because of, you know. So I've moved him over to the right hand side just to fit in his, his arm. You know, he's putting on that jacket and um, looking off to the left hand side. So we're going to start with, we'll start with his eye. Center point of my page is here, right? So his head is over to the right, so we have to go up a fair bit and over to the right hand side. So center point here, my page up and over. So make sure you leave some room for the top of his head, okay? So let's go. So top eyelid, so we'll go just sort of diagonal this way. He's looking off to the left. Right, so you can just add sort of diagonal line there and you can thicken this up a little bit so like kind of make it look like eyelashes like that and then his bottom eyelid will come around from the bottom here so we'll curve it around like so We have a little line coming off the bottom for that bump you have on your bottom eyelid, okay? So his, his eye is like facing sort of down this way, slanted down this way. And his iris will be in here. So it's just like an oval, long sort of skinny circle with the top cut off just inside here, okay? Or like a letter U just inside there and his pupil just at the top here touching his eyelid like so so above that then we have another sort of bumping kind of eyelid line so just kind of above here goes around towards the back, nearly touches that back eyelid line. And then his eyebrow, so a long old eyebrow. Like a tick first, going this way. And then it sort of curves up towards the back to here. And then we'll another line going up this way up and then down towards the, the back there so then his other sort of eye we can't see it really it's like covered by shadow and his nose so we're slightly three-quarter pose right so his his forehead is just here right so it curves down like here So that's like his forehead. And then his nose, so we'll curve around, like so, right across from the eye. So forehead, bridge of his nose, and then the tip of his nose is kind of sticking out. So it kind of comes out like so, and back down to there. And then there's like a nostril somewhere, sort of maybe here. So then we can see maybe a little bit of his eyebrow just in here, but we're mostly in shadow inside this area. You can see his eyelid, so it kind of sticks out a little bit. Just there. And then his eye will come down in here. But this is all colored in black or like really hatched heavily. So mostly black and really dark, right, in shadow. So you don't need to really wor worry too much about details inside here. So 
real dark shadow there. So then the side of his face, right? So it comes down from his nose here. Comes down like so. And this will come down to his chin and wrap around underneath his face. So, so if you're checking proportions now, so how how far down you want things to go, so like top of his forehead to his nose is about the same as, say like the tip of his nose, top of his forehead, tip of his nose here is about the same as tip of his nose down to the bottom of the chin, about about that distance is the same. So this is like halfway between here and here. Okay, these distances are about the same. So this is his jaw, so it comes a bit further and starts to curve up back that way. And then that means his mouth is in here, right? So downturned sort of mouth lines. So we go up here and then back like so. And you bring it down like there. It's just underneath his eye there. And then a line just for his bottom lip, just in here somewhere. So then coming around his eye, we have those sort of, what would you call them? Those sort of Titan connector sort of teardrop sort of things, you know, that remain after you've transformed back so they're like these little sort of teardrops just here so you can draw them in in black or you can color them so it's totally up to you and they go around in a radial sort of pattern around his eye So it's really up to you what way, if you want to color them black or, because they're black in the manga, but they're sort of pink in the anime and stuff. So totally up to you. I'll leave them like that and I'll decide after if I want to color them or not. So his ear and hairline. So sideburns, sort of sideburn hairline just comes down here. And then we go around his ear. Down like so. Earlobe just in there. And then his jaw sort of comes down like this, maybe with some hatching on top. Just comes down to there. So then his hairline comes up a bit further. And then we have some long hair spikes coming down across his face like so and I forgot his ear ligament lines so like ear lines like like this kind of stuff that's all you need really and then we'll bring this down towards his forehead there so the round part of his head so it'll start to go around this way so it's like tight hairstyle wrapped and tight to his head so going around like so and there's, there's like a ponytail back here but this all just curves around back here and then comes down back behind his neck down like so and then we have some spikes of hair sticking off somewhere here
and then the hair at the back of his neck comes down like so and then his neck will come down like this and curve into there So then his ponytail at the back kind of sticks out like so and has some spikes and stuff sticking out back here. Just sort of general hair spikes. there and maybe some threads and single lines sticking out and there might be some hairlines running back this way texture lines So, okay, so the other side of his neck, just here, sort of an Adam's apple type thing coming out like so. Neck muscle coming down here, some neck muscles coming down the side, down to there. And then, so he's like attaching, or not, he's like he's putting on like a hood or a, a cloak or something. So, let's see, easiest thing to do. Ba -ba -ba. I guess, yeah, like, so the part of the hood here, right? So, it's like bumping down like this. And it like wraps around and it's like thumb is holding it, but we'll just draw in the the actual clothing part. So like here. Runs off that way. So his hand is holding this bit, so his thumb, his thumb is like attached, sort of wrapped over it. So it's just here. And then the thumb curves around the top. And then the knuckle on the outside, down into there. And then we wrap around underneath for his palm of his hand, and that goes underneath into there. And then like his wrist comes down this way. And then the rest of his forearm goes off down here. It goes down off my page. And then we have a bit of a thumbnail just in here. And of course you can erase that line just here. And the rest of this hood then will go around his head. So It'll just go like around the ponytail sort of area, bumping, waving, because it's kind of blowing in the wind and stuff. So it goes up and around. Down it around the back of his head. Like so. And then the opposite side. So we have like a sort of a lip or an edge line coming down around the hood, hooded part comes down and we ha we'll have some stretch lines like coming out from from here too so like you know it's being sort of pulled from here so you know like running up this way
and then big sort of bumping hood line coming out from here going out the back running up the top of my page right up the top there the hood comes down behind his head yeah. some more sort of bumps for that just there um. off that way might add a shadow just underneath his chin here right so that's that side so the, like the other side is sort of wraps around the other side of his neck so we go this way coming out from his neck so it's a pretty this is a pretty complicated drawn so take your time right It's literally the best image I could find, so I hope it's not too difficult. But... So it comes out like so, goes around his shoulder, and then we're gonna go down, diagonal, down off my page. So it's, this is the other side of the jacket, the other side of the sort of cloak that he's putting on, okay? And then his body, so like his, his ribs and muscles and things will come down the side so like down like so bumping sort of down to there okay and then the other side of his body will just be like here so then his collarbone will be up here running off this way maybe like another neckline and then his collarbone on the other side will go diagonal up towards his shoulder up here because his other arm has been raised so that goes off that way and then we have some chest muscle lines right so so like coming down from here it's not like a full complete line but it goes down this kind of thing and then it'll come underneath and back up like this in towards his armpit so real lean sort of looking sort of skinny sinewy kind of muscles it's not like like Dragon Ball characters where they're just like juiced <laughs> it's just real lean and like you might have a nipple line or something underneath his thumb somewhere here maybe some lines coming across right so his other chest muscle then kind of comes out from this Kind of just hinted at it's not really it's not drawn too heavily and it just comes around like here and then goes up towards where his armpit would be in here maybe like another line coming down that way underneath there and his other nipple should be somewhere in here And then we've got some like chest muscle sort of lines going up underneath his like other side of his collarbone just up here. And then lines just for his abs underneath like one there. Line here, one 
kind of going down the middle and then on the side and here underneath so just kind of suggestions of ab muscles like that not really drawn in explicitly just sort of lines like that and then um kind of obliques on the side so like there there coming up here like an armpit line going that way So the other side of his jacket. So it comes out from his cheek, like so. And then we bring it down, real long, sort of bumping kind of line, folds and things. Comes out, down off to there, right? And then like another fold line going down this way. And then his shoulder will come off that's sort of in line with his mouth it should be anyway like out from here various bumping four lines so we're going out like pretty straight until we hit an elbow joint somewhere like here okay So then, keep going, longer, so this is like his arm fully extended, right out and then around here, and then we see his sleeve, the open part of his sleeve coming around his wrist. Just here, and then there's a part that goes back up underneath the wrist here. And then we do the underneath, so we go back. Same sort of thing. So this kind of thing. And then his hand comes out from here. Okay, so we can see some of the wrist just coming out here. And this will come out um, and join his top finger knuckle, right? So it'll come out about here and go down, diagonal down, just about here. And we have a bump for a knuckle. So I guess that would be his little finger. And then the next one comes down like so from that one. And then diagonal down like so. And then we have the next bump coming out here. For his index, I think we can only see three fingers. So this one is going to go the whole way down to about there. And then we'll bring it around to here. And it touches his thumb. So his thumb kind of comes over it. His thumb is here. And his thumb will go back up into his sleeve, right? So it'll go down like so. Bump around a knuckle, 
up and around into his sleeve, just into there. And then the other side of his thumb, of course, goes this way. And like up into his hand, just here. I guess you might see a thumbnail or something somewhere here. But his finger is kind of in silhouette, so can't really see much. And then the other side of his hand and finger, bumping kind of here, and then comes down in around underneath his thumb, like so. There could be knuckle lines and stuff up around here, but not much really. Hmm. Not bad. I've seen worse hands. <laughs> yeah, okay. That'll do, as they say. Hope it was helpful. Season 4, Aaron Yeager. Can't wait for the new season. It's going to be epic. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.